who was standing by and consenting unto his death and kept the raiment of them that slew him. Now why don't we find Paul going into a lot of detail about all the other people he stood by and saw killed? Why don't we find Saul here? Why don't we find Paul? Why don't we find Paul talking about, you know, I stood by whenever this one was killed and that one was killed. Yet he makes a point of documenting the fact that he stood by while Stephen was stoned to death. The only one the Bible records as saying, I see Jesus standing at the right hand of God and saying, lay not this sin to their charge. Well, I believe he records that because it had such an impact on his life. I believe when he saw Stephen being stoned and he saw him ask for forgiveness to those that were doing the stoning, he saw, as it were, the face of God in that forgiveness. I believe that was probably the first time that Saul ever actually came face to face. The closest he ever came to being face to face with God when he saw that forgiveness. Oh, I ask you again this morning, when the world looks at us and they see forgiveness, they see God. When they look at us and they see our wrath and our unforgiveness and our bitterness, who do they see? Not God. I want to ask you a logical question this morning. Okay, if we use a little logic. What, who do you think, which, which action do you think draws them closer to God? A forgiving, loving, kind action? Or bitterness? and anger, and unforgiveness, and wrath. Which one of those do you think pulls them closer to God, or gets them to want more what you got than what they have? No. I've had too many people tell me I don't need what they got. What I got is just as good. Because they seen their actions, and they didn't see, oh, they could talk the talk, but when they saw they couldn't walk the walk, they didn't were not impressed with what they had. Amen? So whenever Saul sees the face of forgiveness, it sticks with him for a long time. And we all know what happens there on the road to Damascus. He was trembling and astonished and he asked the Lord, he said, Lord, what would you have me do? He repents. He becomes born again. He becomes the greatest apostle that the world has ever known. And listen, you might think, why in the world was Stephen's life cut so short? Here he was working wonders and he was working miracles. No, but there was a man that Stephen's life was going to impact. And it was going to impact him with his death. That was going to reach far more people than Stephen probably would have ever been able to. Because there were going to be some people who when they saw the change in Saul's life, yeah. they were going to know that something yeah. real is taking place. Mm -hmm. I know Saul. I know how full of anger and wrath and the law and indignation mm -hmm. and religious, I know how religious he was. Mm -hmm. But now, he's forgiving those that despitefully use him. He's teaching us to feed those that are our enemy, to give water to our thirsty enemies. Something has happened in Saul's life. Mm -hmm. Amen. So then they see God in Saul's life. Now he's Paul, and they see God working, and don't tell them how many the untold numbers were saved because of that. You see how God used all of this? He'll use you the same way. I'm not saying that you'll write letters to the church and it'll be documented as the Word of God, but I'm telling you that He can use you to reach the lost. He can use you to reach the lost just like He used the Apostle Paul. But pre I'm not a preacher. Oh, you preach every day with your actions, mm -hmm. with your life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before we were saved, we walked as children of wrath and children of disobedience, but now that we are born again, you see, this would be the man that would say that whenever he was born again, all things, old things had passed away and all things became new. Oh, he had a born again experience. He was not the same man as he used to be. Amen? And he would document the fact that, hey, I was there. I was there whenever Stephen... I was there when Stephen was stoned. I stood by. He don't say this, but you know he did because he was right there where it happened. I heard. I saw. I couldn't get away from that. My, my, my. And then he has a come to Jesus meeting on the day on the day that he was on the road to Damascus. 
And he goes out and begins to preach the gospel. How much of the forgiveness of the Lord do they see in us? See, the world has seen religion. It hadn't helped them. Matter of fact, most of the big wars was caused because of religion. Religion can start wars. Religion can kill. Can't give life. Amen. The world has seen religion. They've seen pious and hypocritical. But when they see forgiveness, something different about that. I don't understand that. See, they don't understand how that if someone does you wrong, how you can forgive them. Because that's not in our nature. That's in His. Amen. And whenever we begin to allow His nature to live through us, I don't have to tell you what forgiving someone does. If you've ever, if you've ever experienced that, and I use it for my own, my own experiences, the unforgiveness that I held toward my father for so many years, hated him. And God brought me to the place where He said, "That's got to be dealt with." And I forgave him. And I don't know what it did for him. I wrote him a letter, told him that I forgave him, that I've hated him all these years, but I don't hate him no more. That I want him to accept Jesus. I want him to be saved. I want him to experience what I've experienced. Oh, and there was such a release in my life. I don't know what it did for him, but if you've ever forgiven somebody, you know what it does for you. And I'm telling you, it don't just affect you. It don't just affect the one you have it against, but it affects those that are watching your life and they see the face of God in your forgiveness and cause them to want something they don't have. Amen? Kind of hard to get them to want what you got if they don't see anything different in your life. Amen? Hallelujah. Alright, anyone else have anything this morning?